We wanted to check out a little bit of the stuff outside of the city of Alparaiso while we were here. We drove north through Reñaca, through Concon, and got a lot of amazing scenic shots. Eventually, we noticed there's some giant sand dunes on our right. So we figured, well, let's wrap around this and see if we can climb to the top of it. When we ended up on the other side of the sand dune, we realized that we could rent sandboards and actually go to the top and try boarding down the entire side of the slope. One side of the hill went straight into the highway with nothing except some rubber tires to stop uh, riders from going into the street. The other side went straight into the ocean. Climbing up that hill is one of the hardest things I've done on this trip. It was so damn hot and steep and you're just walking through sand while carrying this heavy board. But it's so rewarding when you get to the top of it. The view is just beautiful and trying sandboarding for the first time is something that was very exciting and way harder than it looked. Our director, Simon, had way more experience than me with this. He was so hyped up to go down on board that he just grabbed one and uh, put us all to shame. He absolutely killed it when going down the slope. The big day finally came. We got to check out Cerro Abajo, right in the middle of the competitor lounge, where every single rider came through right after their run. We got to interview a ton of folks and just got to be right in the middle of this amazing event. The crowds around us were so hyped up. There was just so much energy. You can definitely tell being right in the middle of it. This is the biggest event in Valparaiso every single year. How'd the run go? It went amazing. Yeah. Uh, great fun. Uh, pretty, pretty tiring. It's a, of course. Really hard, uh, a very demanding uh, track. It's hard. It's not uh, what we usually do because we normally ride on, on that. Yeah. So this is concrete. Yeah, we have stairs. Here's a question. If you if you wipe out on your first run, are you disqualified or do you get to go again? No, if like they just qualify 15 riders. If you if you're not qualified, you're done. You're done. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Cerro Bajo wasn't just about the downhill time trial. There was everything from a live DJ the entire time we were there to rap battles in Spanish to uh, just Red Bull girls handing out cans everywhere. It was insane. Yeah, it's uh, it's so cool. Uh, I've never been to Chile before, so it's just, like, oh, your first run here then. First time here, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, I've done a few street races, but like nothing like this. This is yeah. the next level. Like just they like how many people are here and everything is just crazy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. so, are you local, Chilean? Yeah, I'm, I'm Chilean. I'm from Santiago. I'm Enduro racer. I used to race the follow the Enduro World Series. Now I'm following the National Series. Ignacio was a godsend. It was really cool of him to help us out behind the scenes and give us that exclusive look into something that not a lot of people get to see. But on top of that, he was hooking up interviews with uh, riders the entire day through. So props to him for making the experience as great as it was. A second uh, between uh, the first top ten, it's it's amazing. It, that calls uh, about uh, the thing that the, the level of this edition it was insane, best level ever. Three Red Bull riders, many of the top ten of the World Cup. When the winner was crowned, the crowd went insane. It was like an ocean of energy with everybody bobbing up and down, screaming at the top of their lungs. There was the winner right in the middle of it all, spraying champagne on everybody. Uh, it was honestly just so cool. It seemed like the entire city of Valpo came out specifically for this event. The streets are so narrow, it's old cobblestone roads everywhere. I mean, despite that, you have thousands upon thousands of people in this tiny area just so excited about this event, this festival that's the biggest time of year for them. 